Good morning, my soul family. It's a beautiful day today. I was inspired to wear some red today before I head out on my walk. <sighs> Put a little bit more makeup on than usual. I want to say thank you to a very dear friend whose name is Caleb. Um, you guys, he has a wonderfully joyful, uplifting attitude. And his channel is Shredding the Veil, V-E-I-L. And he's amazing. He has done uh, wonders for my spirit. Let me just say, I'm looking up because I see, I see something up in the, up in the sky up there that's just moving along. Hmm. But I wanted to come out today and say hello to you all and say, if you're not wearing some red, wear some red and talk to you all about the kindness gene that we all have been given by our divine creator and to say that you can use it. What is that saying? If you can be anything, be kind. Well, I am in total agreement with it. And I want to talk to you guys about how I'm looking up there now and I don't see it anymore. It was, I know I don't want to sound, it was a, it was a silvery looking thing up anyway. I'm not seeing it now. Uh, oh, leaves are falling. But I wanted to share with you, I've got my pillow that says, uh, enjoy every little thing. You can't see it because my butt. <laughs> oh yeah, let's talk about your big butt, Simone. Anyway, mm, love you, Pee Wee. Anyhow, um, I want to talk to you guys about, for as quickly as I can, about how we can be kind, how nature nature uh, has healed me and is 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 healing me every single day of my life uh, let me see if i if i orient my camera around better you can see my eyes i didn't like the way i didn't like the direction my eyes were heading this is why i close my eyes when i talk to you all so let's see i'll see if i can do that um nature and how being kind will heal you in turn. We can heal this world. Yes, we can. You know, people will say, "I what can I do? I'm just one person. True, but it isn't just you, it's who you know. It's who you touch when you speak. Uh, say, anyone that you know. I mean, this is what my channel is all about. It is about being, uh, being your own force of nature. And when you get out into nature, what do you have surrounding you? What do you have uh, nature? And nature has you in her grasp. She has your attention when you are with her. Sorry, I'm drifting off course. That's my makeshift fountain. Nature has you in her clutches. When you go outside and you take a walk and you give your attention to nature around you, you, tone, you tune out and you drown out everything else that is clutter, that is holding your attention, that really isn't that important, by the way. Nature healed me when I went through that traumatic time in my life, my kids and I, and you know, believe me, this did not happen overnight when we had the rug yanked out from underneath us. And you know, and when, say when that happens and things have to settle, that takes time. 
that doesn't happen overnight. And each day of my life, you guys, gets better and better because I am stopping to smell the roses and drink my coffee, which I will when I get back. <laughs> but what I'm giving my attention to, I'm allowing the birds and the squirrels who eat the peanuts that I put out and the blue jays, I allow them to do what they do naturally. That's what I give my attention to. And I tune out all of the unnecessary noise that just adds stress to my heart. But nature has helped to heal me and she does every single day. Uh, my kids and I became a part of a wonderful essential oil company and we use those oils every single day of our lives. Uh, they are very healing. Um, one that I talk about a lot and that I will give allegiance to is lavender oil. Mm. That oil is mighty and I know it isn't for everybody because of people, I, in fact, I have a, a special friend who is allergic to lavender. She can't even, you walk into a room and she'll say, if you're wearing it, you know, usually we are nine times out of 10. And, uh, you know, we have to let her know. But uh, when you use lavender, or at least when I use lavender, I use it every night before I go to bed. I put it in the crown of my head. I put it on my finger or a Q-tip and trace my ear with it. I use it on the hollow of my cheek. I put it on the back of my neck. And when I uh, lay down, I also use cedar wood. I put it between my toes and I use oregano oil on the arch of my feet. And that is immune, immune boosting. Okay, and I've used that since 2005. But these oils, Lavender, okay, so what I can say about these oils when you use them and how they help is they help calm you and relax you. And what happens when that happens? Your stresses die down. Things that normally stress you out are going to hurt you. Stress is a killer. And I know what I'm talking about with stress. I've lost my dog Keeper my cats Milo, Sirius, and Ruby to cancer. And that was one a year since 2019. And a dear friend asked me, how do you, how do you deal with so much death? By realizing that death is a given. Death is part of this human thing, this life that we live in. And Animals are unconditional, total and unconditional love. And their job here merely is to balance our energy because they are naturally energy balancers. And uh, all my dogs have to do for me is be my body pillow, just be with me. And uh, my cats, just be, okay? They're soft, they're furry. This is another thing. Don't use essential oils around your cats. They have a different biochemical makeup. Oils are not for cats. And for dogs, if I can tell you right quick, an oil that does not mix with your dogs is spearmint. And we do have a spearmint oil that I use with lemon oil that is oh, invigorating. But don't give it to your dogs. Um, but anyhow, every day, my lavender. I will even put orange oil. Orange oil is as uplifting as this red color that I'm wearing. So think about what oils do. While they do not replace medicine, I'm not claiming they do. Medicine has its place. I'll tell you right now, a pocket of oils will, re will definitely do a good job in taking the place of those some of those medicines that leave behind bad things in your body that will slowly 
destroy you, if not kill you over time. But don't stop taking your medicine. I'm just telling you about how the oils and natural living and nature have helped me and my family. So, on this note, I'm gonna let you all go. I'm gonna wish you all a happy day. And if you aren't outside, get outside at some point today and take a walk and turn off your phone and just be with yourself and be in the moment with nature and allow her to show you something and listen to the birds. That musical ingredient will add, it'll add a year to your life. How about that? Get quiet. If you can, have your lunch outside. Take five minutes of your lunch. Breathe. Say your affirmations. I am healthy. I am wise. Thank you, Caleb. You guys have a wonderful day today. Do good for yourself. What did Ron Silver used to say from that show? I'm coming, Finn. It was a nighttime show. It was a police show. You can't go wrong by eating right. You can't go wrong by doing what is right for yourself. And what is right is how you feel and being kind and what helps you along that way, nature. And some essential oils aren't gonna hurt you. They're gonna help you. Peace, I will be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.